What's good, you guys? Today, we are going to discuss an instantaneous way to improve your squat depth. Now, I personally, when I first started squatting, found it near impossible for me to hit parallel, let alone go below parallel, when I first started lifting, and I could not figure out the reason why. Um, after doing a lot of research, I first had the impression that I had tight ankles. And so I started doing a lot of ankle mobility type exercises and drills to improve my ankle mobility. And I did slightly, and I did see a little bit of improvement in my depth. After that, I thought that I had problems with my hip flexors, so I did a lot of stretching and stuff like that to improve that. Um, I did stuff for hamstrings, a lot of different stretching and stuff like that. And I've come to the conclusion that I am just not built to squat. And I truly believe that there are people out there like me who are not built to squat with great depth. Um, I have really, really long legs compared to my torso, and for whatever reason, I just am not able to get below parallel without the utilization of plates under my heels. Now, you guys are going to see a before and after where I use the assistance of the plates under my heels, and you're going to see me trying to squat without anything, just barefoot. Um, and you guys are going to see the difference completely in depth. My form is going to look a lot more natural, and you are going to see improvement overall. So let me show you guys what it looks like. All right, to start off, you guys, I'm going to show you how terrible my mobility is, how hard it is for me to hit um, parallel without the assistance of squatting shoes and without the assistance of weights behind my heels. So with that, not only will you see that it looks extremely awkward for me, it feels really awkward. That is not a comfortable place um, to be in for myself personally. That does not feel natural to me at all. It feels like I am leaning extremely forward and I'm really trying to try extremely hard. I'm pushing my knees out as far as I can. For whatever reason, I just cannot get that depth, that proper depth. So let me show you guys what it looks like from another angle. Now that may not look that bad to you guys, but I can assure you it is extremely uncomfortable. I mean, you can't feel actually feel the discomfort that I have when I'm doing that exercise. Even with 135 pounds, my back literally feels like it's doing more work than my legs, and it puts me in a really bad state to where if I went up to a much heavier weight, I really feel like I could risk injury. So let me show you guys what it looks like with the assistance of plates under my heels. Now hopefully you guys can see that that was loads better, it was much more comfortable for me in all honesty, but it still wasn't perfect. I still could get much deeper, I was probably around parallel, I mean you guys can see better than I could, but that in itself felt much better than just going simply barefoot. And I'm going to show you guys what I've did for the past like three years now. Um, you're going to make fun of me because I go even further than using just the plates. I also wear weightlifting shoes while I squat. And not only do I have the elevation in the heel from the weight plate itself, but I also have the, the elevation in the heel that's already built into the shoe. So already you can see right there, hopefully you can see. So you can see that I'm getting an inch or two of elevation in my heel, which will contribute to me getting proper depth. Um, you guys can make fun of me all you want, but I've been doing this for three years. Um, I'm injury free, knock on wood, but this is really... The only way that I can get ass to grass with my squats. My form, I, I personally believe my form looks very clean. I get compliments all the time in the gym about not only the weight that I'm using in the gym in terms of squatting, but the fact that I'm utilizing proper form with the heavy weights that I use. I've been complimented by coaches, by power lifters, stuff like that. All of them saying that I have really good form. And they do end up asking me about why I wear weightlifting shoes with plates under my heels. But I tell them it's because I cannot hit proper depth without that. Now, I highly suggest to all of you guys that you work on your mobility, whether it's ankle mobility, tight hamstrings, tight hip flexors, whatever it may be. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you try to remedy the situation that way before going in and depending on something like this. My next disclosure is the fact that if you have bad knees, be extremely cautious when you do something like this. This is not something that everyone can get away with doing. 
if you have problems with knee injuries and stuff like that, I definitely would not recommend trying to use plates under your heels, trying to use weightlifting shoes and plates under your heels because you're going to mess, your, mess yourself up pretty bad. So let me show you guys what it looks like real quick, the way that I do it and the way I've did it for three years now, and let's see the depths that I can get. So there you guys go, simple as that. Of course the most optimal thing would be to invest in some weightlifting shoes that have the elevated heel. If you cannot afford that or you don't want to go and buy some, the next best thing would of course be the plates under your heels, maybe a plank of wood under your heels, anything that's going to elevate you to the point where structurally you can get away with getting that extra depth and still feel safe, still feel good doing it, and not only that, but get the best out of the exercise. I cannot stress enough the importance of squatting. It is the best mass builder for the legs and depth is very, very important. Before, when I was just using my bare feet, I could only feel activation in my lower back. That should tell me something wrong if I'm trying to activate my legs. As soon as I got the weightlifting shoes and the plates on, man, I'm telling you right now, with 135 pounds for five rips, my quads, my glutes, my hamstrings, all of that feel engaged right now as a result. So. Try this out, you guys. Be very careful with it. I've been through the period of frustration where I watch all of my friends able to squat 225, 315, even 405 and stuff like that, and you're stuck trying to get 135 for proper depth. I know the feels. I've been there. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this helps you out. I love you guys. Peace out.